Never scramble to mute yourself in meetings again with the Mute Me, a physical mute button for video conferencing. Video conferencing is now a staple of working life whether you're continuing to work from home or you've returned to the office. What the events of the last two years have taught us is that face-to-face -face meetings and unnecessary travel can be avoided to save time and increase efficiency. This is in large part thanks to more reliable and sophisticated video conferencing options like Zoom, Google Meet, and Microsoft Teams. A side effect of the growing use of video conferencing software has highlighted a number of shortcomings in the interface and functionality that most users would like to see addressed. MuteMe is one particular hardware solution that you probably didn't know you needed until now. It's a physical mute button that controls your microphone input for video calls. With Mute Me, you now have the ability to seamlessly control your audio without the need to search for a keyboard shortcut or reach for your mouse. Plus, you have a way to clearly communicate to family and colleagues when you're unavailable because you're on a call. It comes with a USB-C to USB-A cord that's about a meter in length, plus a USB-A to USB-C adapter should your laptop or Chromebook only have USB-C inputs. The Mute Me button measures just over two inches in diameter and just under one inch deep, making it very compact. The device is very light at 4.5 ounces with a hard plastic translucent body and a metal edged edge surface for the capacitive button to toggle the mute function. The button itself can be configured in several ways which I'll go over later in this video. The material is stainless steel and engraved with Mutiny branding and because it's capacitive it means that you won't have any disruptive clicks when using it. The LED light also has a number of different settings which can be adjusted depending on your personal preferences. It's bright and illuminates the device all of the way around. Mute Me currently supports all the major video conferencing platforms and some unofficially such as Google Duo on web. However, as noted, some of the functionality is limited at this time with Mute Me explaining they are looking to make some of the deeper features work for all platforms in the future. There are some basic settings available for Mute Me which include enabling the app to run on top of other programs for more immediate control. Plus, you can make sure that Mute Me is always running in the background by selecting Minimize to Tray, so you don't have to restart the app each time you enter a meeting. The program will always be ready for you, so there are no awkward delays. The next set of options are particularly useful, especially for video conference platforms that don't already include the options in the software. There are three muting methods. The first is Toggle, where you can set Mute Me so that tapping the button switches between muted and unmuted. The second is Push to Talk, which enables the microphone only when you have your finger depressed on Mute Me. The moment you lift your finger, you'll be muted again. The third option is push to mute, which leaves the microphone on and only mutes mute me when it's depressed. I could see this last option being useful for a group conference calls where quick private conversations between team members in the same room are needed. There are eight different color options for the LED light. These include choosing a classic green for when the microphone is unmuted and red for when you are muted. However, additional color choices are great for accessibility, where some users may be colorblind or have other visual impairments and alternate colors would help with usability. The same goes for the option to change how the LED light operates and users can choose between bright, dim, fast pulse, and slow pulse for both muted and unmuted states. Application sync settings enable your mute me button to have varying levels of control over your computer and video conference platform. Level one will simply just mute the microphone itself via the system without affecting the status in your video conferencing software. In this mode, you can mute the mic itself, but participants on the call won't see you're muted. Level two enables mute me to actually trigger the software mute option in your video conferencing software. Pressing Mute Me will toggle mute on and off. Level 3 will enable the video conference software to toggle the actual Mute Me device itself on and off. I can say from personal experience that Mute Me solves what is a missing feature on Google Meet and the lack of push to talk in software, so this is a really nice workaround. The device is ultimately aimed at those users who spend a lot of their time in meetings, or those that find themselves in environments where they share a space with family or colleagues. The convenience of just reaching for the control instead of navigating to a button on your screen with your mouse is surprisingly satisfying and natural. Ultimately, the success of the Mute Me button proves that there's still room for ergonomic interfaces in a world that is involved to include more remote communication. Thank you for watching, and as ever, it would be great if you were to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more content on personal technology and the connected home. Thank you.